to avoid pregnancy. I mean, it depends on how long you want to talk about what it, it can do. It, and, it, and it varies from woman to woman. Uh, it may do one thing to one woman and one thing to another, or a woman may experience a combination of the deadly side effects of the drug. Depo Provera is the brand name of DMPA, Depo Medroxy Progesterone Acetate. The shot must be injected into dense muscle fibers four times a year to prevent pregnancies. But civil rights advocates say that the drug has much more dangerous effects to many women in low income communities and are at high risk of being exploited, starting with experimentation that began in the 50s. And using unethical uh, human experimentation on this drug on uh, black women in Jamaica and then later black and women of color in Brazil. This is all when this drug has not been approved by the FDA. The FDA approved Depo Provera in 1992. Since then, it's been marketed as affordable and effective at preventing pregnancies. But the Rebecca Project for Human Rights is petitioning Congress to end federal funding for the drug because of harmful side effects. According to reports, Depo Provera side effects can include headaches, irregular bleeding, dizziness, stomach pain, weight gain, anxiety and depression, among other things. And while its use is being decreased in white affluent communities, it's still being used in lower income communities of color in what's being described as a concerning global trend. After revelations brought to light by Press TV, Israeli newspapers report that the number of Ethiopians given Depo Provera there has dropped 40 percent, but its use is still widespread, kept alive by organizations that are pumping hundreds of millions of dollars into the drug program. And that's been matched by others to reach an excess of $4 billion for this to be used on over, if possible, 100 million African women. And it's also used in Indonesia. Wherever this Depo-Provera is used, you have sky-high rates of HIV and AIDS. It's estimated that 25 to 30 million women use Depo-Provera worldwide. In a recent study of Depo users in the U.S., 33% were under the age of 19, 84% were black women, and 74% were low income. The Rebecca Project is also urging big-name organizations such as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to stop funding Depo Provera programs. Colin Campbell, Press TV, Washington. A fast-growing wildfire is charring a large swath of woods in Southern California, forcing thousands of people to evacuate. According to